welcome to Scottish Car Enthusiasts and Trains TV and this is a traumatic walk around at the Hubnut Social. Kick starting off with this Land Rover Discovery. Leading into a Honda CRV, funky little sort of hybrid one. Let's have a wee look. Sorry, CRZ. Moving over to the car park here, we've got a Rover 600 coming into the car park. I've got a funny feeling that's a 600 Ti, maybe. We've got a Volkswagen Beetle. And we're going to come over to here. This is the Vauxhall Cavalier LXI. Huh? And if you're a fan of Vauxhall Cavaliers, then there's another one over here which is a Mark III. Uh, it's a GLS. A rather fetching shade of dark green. And we have another discovery here. Moving around, we've got a Fiat Seicento Sporting, a Vauxhall Monaro, nice modern Peugeot 308 here, Fiat Panda. Over here we've got an Escort XR3. Yes. And we have a Jeep. And a 300 ZX. Next uh, generation uh, Freelander, Mark II Freelander, an MG ZR, Volvo V70. Spinning around, we've got next to the Focus RS, we have the 325i BMW. Part next to the future, the future is electric apparently. Nissan Leaf. We have a little Morris Minor here. Another Fiat Panda. And a Sixon uh, Bilingo van. That's the Bilingo, or was that the Bilingo called just the people carrier version? I think it is a Bilingo. Here we have a Freelander Mark 1 with a roof drop down on it. I actually think they look quite funky and if you stood to test the time, TD4, so it's basically the same engine that's in my 75. A gorgeous car is a Freelander. I like this, I liked these when they came out and they really aged well. Over here we've got a 2CV, now, my headmaster, you've probably heard this story before, my headmaster at my primary school had one of these before he changed it for an Escort Bonus. In the exact same colour as this. This is a 2CV6 Special. Then we have a Morris 1800. I believe that's based on the ADO 16 chassis. Here we've got a Land Rover.
all-wheel drive station wagon. Moving across, we have a Honda with a double overhead cam. Programmed fuel injection. Now, I think this is an Accord. Yep, under Accord. Before moving behind to it, to a Honda Prelude. Four wheel steer, OWS 2 liter I 16. This will be the four wheel steering. Um, Prelude. Got a lovely little Mini 1000 here. And a Rhino Kangoo 4x4. Don't see very many of them. Closely followed by a Honda HRV. Yeah, I'm not sure, was this a joy machine they called it? So we've got a uh, MG ZS. With X Power Graphics. That's a V6 as well. Project Drive version. And over. We have a BMW 320. Power. So Bauer, I believe, were a Coachworks um, putting sort of like target tops onto the BMW 3 Series um, when it wasn't really a 3 Series convertible at the time. And you can tell that they are just by the little badge here. Gorgeous interior. We've got a Porsche, a Mustang, Datsun Nissan Sunny, 1.5 GL. Followed by a Nissan Bluebird. Sorry, a Datsun Bluebird. Got a MG ZR. Bentley there. And a 911. Yeah, 911 Carrera. Bentley is gorgeous. So we've got here Alpha Rebeo Julia Velocity. And next to that we have a Rover 400 HHR, I believe. I'm not sure what trim level that is, it's a of 400. Got a lovely little MGB over here. The Panda 100 HP. Definitely becoming a future classic now. Then we have a uh, Celica, I think. Yep. Turbo four wheel drive Celica. Then we have a BMW 320. This is not a power one, this is an official. Um, BMW convertible and BMW made this one themselves.
followed by a Mark III Astra 1.4. New Land Rover Defender. And here's one for Furious Driving and um, Lloyd Vehicle Consultant Vans. <laughs> if you've seen their recent videos, they've been test driving the Toyota MR2s. This is the Mark 1 Toyota MR2. Midship runabout. So this is a 1987 model. Just check out that blue interior. Absolutely gorgeous. The seats look so comfy. And there is the heart of the MR2 here. Land Rover Defender. Subaru Baba Audi 100 Nova Another MG MGB Reliant Kitten Not sure what this is but we'll have a wee look Avoiding the mud It's a traumatic walk around after all It's a Viva, Vauxhall Viva, 1300 GLS, brown interior, oh, absolutely gorgeous. And then we have a Honda Insight. And we're just going to move back over this side of the car park, we've got a lovely little Vauxhall Nova Saloon. From Bangor. So this is a Nova Trip, lovely little steel wheels, AA badge, and then we have um, Rover Joe's um, Rover 214 SLI, another Land Rover here. and the Volkswagen Bora, the booted version of the Golf, and it's standing out really, really nicely with these, um, I don't know what they're called, I don't know what the actual brand of alloys, but the 52 alloys, see them on a lot of Volkswagen group cars. We have a Rover Tomcat on Comet alloys, it's amazing in this colour. I'm not sure what model that is, but it's a Rover Tomcat from the description. Then we have a lovely Merck 230 CE. Another 2 CB here, followed by this um, gorgeous Mazda 929. I probably told the story before at the last social, but when I was a kid, um, my granddad had one of these, and I would spend hours on a Sunday afternoon um, sitting in a Mazda 929 pretending to drive it. We've got a Volvo 850. Moving up, we have another lovely MG. Another lovely MGB. Check out that interior. And we have a Bandan Plata. Oops, just tripped it. Austin Bandan Plata 1500 or 1500 Bandan Plata. Which is, if you don't know, this is the Porsche version of the Allegro. Lovely um, V5 uh, Volkswagen Beetle there. Also got here is a Suzuki Wagoner. 
also known if you're a Vauxhall fan, a uh, Vauxhall Aguila. This was a joint venture between Suzuki and Vauxhall. This is a Wagon R Plus. I always thought it funny with these cars that um, they have a number plate recess. I think on the Vauxhalls had a number plate recess where the boot handle is, and then they had the number plate on the bumper. A bit weird. Not sure why. Anyway, let's continue our look down here. So we have a six-wing C15 van on a 55 plate. Good Mondale gear. Mark Free Mondale. Moving over to here, we have a Skoda. Now this would be, I can't remember what it called these. That's very traumatic because I don't know. There would be some funny name for it. I think it was a Skoda. Is it Skoda Fun? So you can tell it's a very early, based sort on of a Fabrock, very early Volkswagen control here. So you've got like your Volkswagen type steering wheel that was commonly found in poles and golfs. So here we go, that is it. It's a Felicia fun, that's what it is. Citroen C1, um, you've also got the Toyota Igo and the Peugeot 107, and the modern Ford Focus Mark III. Then we have a Mark V Fiesta, possibly a flight. It's got a ZTEC and it's actually a ZTEC, so no, it's not a flight. It's a ZTEC, so it's be a 1.25 in this car, probably. Moving over here, we have the Honda version of the R8, the Honda Concerto. Again, um, this was a joint venture between Honda and Rover. So, Rover had a big, play, big uh, development in these um, in these cars. I would say the Concerto is more rare than, let's say, the Anari Rover. Got a few Fords here. We've got an S Max Titanium, ST, and an ST500 Fiesta. And the Honda Accord here. Lovely little Audi TT. And Talbot Camper Van. 